Hey guys, it's Dee from Sarah Designs. Welcome back to our channel. I know it's been a minute and I apologize. A lot's been going on in my life. My dad, who is almost 90, has dementia pretty badly. And he has recently moved from Texas up to here. Uh, they were actually up here visiting him and my stepmom for a wedding. And turns out he decided he's not going back to Texas. So my sister has him now. And we're just trying to figure out all the logistics and whatnot and if he should even stay here or go back with her or we're not quite sure. This all just happened recently. Um, he's not super badly with the dementia, but he comes and goes. So we're trying to figure out what's the best route for him. So that being said, I appreciate your patience today. However, I have a little bit of a haul for you guys. This was actually gifted to me, this box. Um, and I picked up a couple things from Dollar Tree. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I know I wasn't going to buy any more crafting items because I have enough here to open a store. Um, so I need to stop purchasing because my fear is, God forbid something happens to me, my daughter and husband then have to figure out what to do with all my crafting stuff. Sarah was into it for a while, but I don't see her doing it. She's got her own life and her own stuff going on. Um, my husband said he would just come up here to my craft room and sit and, and absorb the essence that once was me. <laughs> Isn't he sweet? Um, it's not realistic though. I have so much stuff. I need to start purging and get rid of stuff because I hate the thought of, not that there's anything happening to me. I'm not sickly in any way. I just turned 60, but you never know. So I just want to use the bare minimum. I need to stop buying stuff that I'm not even using. So that said, I'm trying not to purchase stuff. However, I did go to Dollar Tree and I can't resist bees. So I did see this. So it's only dollar twenty-five, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to make it into. It's like a little wooden thing. I'm going to decorate it, paint it, and whatnot, and put a couple bees on it or flowers or whatever, and hang it up on my in my plant room out in my front porch. So this won't go to waste. So that's that. And then I can't pass up crosses because if you know me, you know I love my crosses. So these are sparkly. For dollar twenty-five, can you see the sparkle? I'm trying not to get the glare on you guys, but they're pretty cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but I'll do something with them. These again, crosses. I think there's only oh, there's six. There's two in each. Is there six of these too? That's so cool. Okay, they're like chipboard. Yeah, there is two in there. Can you guys see that? That's pretty cool. Anyway, that's those. Also, there's a free site in my area where you can go on and people give away stuff that they no longer want. And then you have to say, yes, I'm interested. And then people say, okay, come get it. Here's my address, blah, blah, blah. So, stencils, I can't give them up. I can't pass them up. They were free. Little stencils. These are like little kid stencils. Little plasticky. I got those. She also had these stencils. It says a restaurant stencil set. I didn't realize what they were. Create your own signboards. 40 flexible pencils. Plastic stencils. Pencil stencils. Yeah. Pencil stencils. Guys. I'm a moron. First of all. There's a ton of them. It has numbers. And then it goes on to restaurant words, like beverages. What's this one say? Bar served. Drinks. Oops, upside down. Drinks. Like, what am I, what, what am I going to use these? So on and so forth. All weekly. Try our whatever. Anyway, it says here, open daily, day, night, restaurant, bistro, appetizers, blah, blah, blah. It's stuff that restaurants would use on a chalkboard. I couldn't pass it up for whatever reason. I don't know why. 
series, so I might be giving these away to somebody else because I don't ever see me unless Will opens a restaurant, which I've been trying to get him to do. It's not going to happen anytime soon. I don't see it ever happening. I'm planning on retiring soon. So anyway, I don't know. It was free. Can't pass it up, apparently. I can't pass up a stencil. That's the problem. Okay. So, in this bin, a girl also posted she had some scrapbook items for free. For those of you who know, I am currently in getting into scrapbooking slowly but surely. I think it's a dying art, though, because not a lot of people are doing it these days. But I like it, so I don't care. Um... I got a really decent printer, and I've been printing out a lot of pictures, and I've been collecting scrapbooking items and whatnot, and I started, and I'm having fun doing it. I, I it's, it, it's a long process to sit and do it, so I need to make sure I have a good couple hours that I'm able to do it, otherwise there's no point. So for me to find the time to do it is difficult, but I'm enjoying it while I'm doing it. Anyway. This bin, girl posted on the free site and said she's got some scrapbook items she wants to get rid of. And I said, yes, please. And she said, come get them. And I did. So, ready? Guys, look at it all. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're going to go throw it. First things first. This is like a... 3D-ish dimensional sticker of the world. The whole wide world. Sarah used to call it the world when she was little. This one says Christmas dinner. This is perfect because I have a really cool picture of a Christmas dinner that Will had made. And it was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to put that in the scrapbook. This here says... Merry Christmas. It's a Christmas one. This one here is three-dimensional wedding. Looks like she'll use a one thing from Kay and Company. This one here looks like she used quite a bit of it. There's the alphabet. She used a little bit. Little stickers. Here we have Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii once and been wanting to get back to it. So maybe this will be my reason to go. And I'm like, oh, I got a sticker thing. We have to go to Hawaii now so I can use it. This one here also says Hawaii. Softball. Or sports stickers. More softball, baseball stickers. Home run. They're not stickers. These are actually adhesive borders. Nice. Jolie's Boutique. These are like dimensional stickers. Like a little balloon. Little like balloon animals. So cute. Adorable for a kid's birthday. Uh, home, hope, treasure, love, forever, together, precious, dream, wish. Cute little stickers. Alphabet stickers. Road trip stickers. Sorry about the glare. Guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so. Our honeymoon. Oh, we didn't go on a honeymoon yet, so maybe I'll use this for hours. Alright, what have we got in here? This is a bag of stickers. I haven't gone through everything yet. Let's see. Roses. Cocktails. More cocktails. 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 Roses. <gasps> Flip flops. Flip flops. Flip flops. Flip flops and speechy stuff. Fun in the sun kind of stuff. They're cute. I have to go through all the stickers that I have now and organize them. I'm 
is a task in itself. Here's another Christmas one. It's like a 3D dimensional Christmas tree. That's adorable. This one here says the happy couple groom. Let's party. Get the party started. So this soulmates. This is like a wedding one. I do. This is like a band. So if you go see a band or something. When you hear somebody musical. This is adorable. It's like a dartboard. It's like a dimensional dartboard. Super cute. Our family, father, mother, grandparents, sister, brother, baby story. Up on foam tape. This is Happy Father's Day. Oh, that's cute. I want to use this for my. I'm going to use this for a card for my dad. Autumn sparkly autumn sticker. Boys and their toys. Wedding. Are they clear? Are they clear? That's cute. Um, are there more wedding ones? These will be good for either scrapbook or cards. All right. That was it for the scrapbook stickery stuff. This is Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's a ribbon. Craft Smart ink pad. I like that color. This is Greenbrier International. Red ink pad and a blue, or blue, green. Must have been a Christmassy one. Um, wood stamps, passion, beauty, explore journey, inspire, discover, free. Don't look if she ever opened it. Here we have tacky, twice as tacky glue. I've never used this. Never heard of it. Try it out. Felt glue. Water clean up. Dries clear. Non-toxic. Again, never used it. We'll try it out. Mechanical pencil. Pen. They'll go in. Pen and pencil holder. Then we have... These fun scissors. One, two, three. Oh, this one's stuck. Four. Five. And six. Six pairs of scissors. I just use this actually. It's a cross stamp. Not a stamp. Punch. I'll show you what I did with that real quick. Anyway, and then at the bottom of the box here, there's a bunch of um, wooden stamps. So you know how much I like these. Some of them brand new. You make my heart smile. No idea what this means. If anybody does, let me know. Is it upside down? I don't know. It doesn't say on the side, I don't think. Made in USA, Inca Do. Inca Dinka. Just says K on that side. Don't know what that means. We have love with the doves. We have Friendship Warms the Heart. That looks like it's been used a bit. We have a heart with some nice swirlies throughout. More hearts with butterflies. That's adorable. Pretty flower. Don't know if it was ever used. From Studio G. This says love. A nice little border around it. Never used. With love. I'll always love you. Aw. That's adorable. 
Okay, this is so cute. What a little kid's card. It's from Inka Doe. Inka Dinka Doe. Kathy Davis. It's adorable. Good job, Kathy. Here's a little wedding couple. Bride and Groom from Stampendous 2000. Been used. Been loved and used. Love you. From Craft Smart. Peace on Earth. Craft Smart. Don't know if that was ever used. Noel. Never used. Recollections. Another XOXL heart. From Craft Smart. A present. Never used. Craft Smart. Wishing you all the blessings a new baby brings. From Inka Dinka Do, Kathy Davis again. Look at these little baby hands. Kathy Davis from Inka Dinka Do, they're so cute. Oh, baby rattle. Another Kathy Davis, yep. Okay, all I want for Christmas is you. Never used. These, so many these feel hard. I'm going to have to, Kitty and Co. COJ. I'm going to have to, like, condition them a little bit. I don't like hard rubber. Hard, hard rubber. This one's soft. This is a present, like a nutcracker present. Or not even. It's a nutcracker with a big hat. Crash Mart. That's adorable. Oh, Holy Night. Another one that feels hard. And we did that one. I think that's it, guys. That is all she wrote. So we got a good score for free. So I talked to the girl. I said, oh, thank you so much. You really hooked a sister up. And I got text message her because usually it's like a no contact kind of situation. So what happens is people will post it on the site you say interested and they say okay pm me private message me and i'll give you my address so you pm them and then they'll be like okay i left it out front by my by my trash cans or by my mailbox or whatever and then you go and pick it up and then i usually am very courteous and i write back and i'm like thank you i got it i appreciate it thank you so much and <clears throat> And when I wrote to the girl, I was like, oh my gosh, you really hooked a sister up with some crafting items. Thank you so much. And she said, oh, you're welcome. Sad story. Sorry, guys. She said, you're very welcome. She said, I was doing some scrapbooking and I was hoping to be able to do a lot more with my daughter because she had a baby. Well, sadly, the baby passed. And shortly after that, her daughter passed. Um, I didn't get into detail with her, but anyway. Um, so yeah, very tragic situation. Her other daughter is autistic, so she said she will never be having kids. So she wanted to get rid of all the baby kid kind of stuff. And she said that kind of got the ball rolling with... Uh, how she ended up cleaning out some of her craft room and she said she'll let me know if she has more in the future because she's still going through stuff so that's how that happened so it's a very sad tragic situation but I'm hoping that I could put this stuff to good use in honor of her daughter and her granddaughter um so anyway guys that's that was sad. I don't know why I'd share that with you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bum anybody out. I kind of bummed myself out here. Um, that's my video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You probably didn't. You're probably like, oh my god, what an idiot. Uh, anyway, uh, hopefully, I keep saying, hopefully I'll be back on track again, guys. But life's been throwing us zingers every which way we look. Um, so hopefully we can get my dad on track and figure things out with him and we can all get to our new norm. 
I don't know whatever that'll be. So stay tuned and I appreciate you watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. Please no negative comments because they will be deleted. And I hope you all have a good day and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.